What is going on guys, this is Joe Young coming at you an update on the 125 a gallon tank. Alright, comparing this video, which is like 4 months since the last update of this tank, uh, the plants hasn't really grown. I have a couple of theories on that and a lot of it is probably due to just not enough bio load in the tank. From my last update, you guys know that a lot of my discus died due to a discus plague and then whatever I salvaged or saved, I went ahead and gave it to my dad. And then ever since, I've just been keeping really just cardinals and a mix of uh, neons in the tank along with the plecos I originally had in the tank. A lot of the other fish that were with the discus, the uh, the barbs and a couple of the SAEs, I went ahead and traded those in because they were disturbing a lot of the substrate. And also it was so cloudy that the plants weren't getting enough light. So now with those fish removed and really just the neons and the cardinals in the tank, now I'm left with kind of like a really low bio load in the tank, so it's not really feeding the plants. As you can see, the plants in here, they you know they still look green. I'm still giving the same dose in terms of CO2 and fertilizers, but they really just don't really grow. Now what's really weird is on the other side here, on the right side, as you can see, I have a full carpeted like plant, like just straight up, but the stem plants aren't really growing. So the carpeted plants, you know, these guys are a little bit lower maintenance, so they can just really grow as long as you have really good, you know, light and just CO2, and these guys will just take off. Even without CO2, these guys are known to grow pretty well anyways. But as you can see, like my stem plants, you know, maybe just, you know, this one here, other than that, they just have been like at the halfway mark and really haven't grown above that. So my first theory is low bio load. So pretty much there's not enough fish in here uh, to produce waste or I'm not feeding the fish really enough because I don't have to uh, to stain these plants because they're really just absorbing a lot of it and I want to say like the carpeting plants is getting like 100% of it. So my second theory is probably the substrate is probably drained out of just nutrients in general. So I've had this substrate in for maybe close to four years now and this is ADA mixed with some Eco Complete and some other stuff. Um, you know, throughout the years, you know, I've been planning, replanting, you know, there's a lot of just phases of, you know, plants, you know, they do really well, you know, with pull them up, replant, pull them up, replant. So, you know, I think that the substrate is probably really just drained of just nutrients. So right now, I just kind of just threw a couple of like root tabs in here just to kind of sustain what's here currently. And obviously, you know, these carpeted plants are sustaining. Uh, the other plants are sustaining, but they're not growing as lush as what they did in the past. So that really leaves me uh, a couple of choices. One, uh, continue this struggle and just let the plants kind of just do bare minimum, which is all right, I guess. But, you know, I, I kind of like the lushness of the plants before, uh, where they would grow to the top and everything was, was filled. So that means I have to probably end up either replacing or topping off the tank with some new substrate. That's going to go through a whole process because, you know, taking substrate out of a tank, especially a big tank, is a nightmare and it's just going to be, oh my goodness. I, I've done it before when I swapped it to ADA on top with some other ones when I had an Eco Complete completely in the tank and oh my goodness, it was just nuts. So that's, that's one thing I have to do. So that's one of the things I have to do with the tank, but uh, future plans of the tank kind of follows to what I have to do there in terms of like pulling out the substrate but also as you can see like really there's not any like big fishes in here because one I still want to get back into discus but um, I'm still waiting for the species that I want uh, available they're kind of like sold out right now so it's probably gonna be another couple months or so before I actually get in, back into discus so right now the tank is just completely empty with like no large fishes and no plans of large fishes until maybe possibly when I start keeping this disc again. And when I actually start keeping this disc, I'm only going to start with a pair and I want to do the breeding project again with those and try to grow fry out, you know, in, in the tank. But, you know, that could be who knows long, right? I mean, it, it took me a long time to even find a pair and then from the pair it took, you know, trials and errors to try to even attempt to get eggs and eggs to fry. Uh, so it's a whole ordeal. So for me, I don't really like to have a tank, especially a big tank like this, sit empty. So I'm going to really make a hard decision here and actually I'm going to downgrade this tank into a smaller tank uh, to keep, you know, the tetras in and then, you know, a big enough tank to probably keep uh, the discus pair, which I will have probably in the 30 gallon, I'm not sure yet. And then, you know, a grow out tank that's slightly, you know, larger for the fries to grow out in. 
So for all the subscribers that followed me from the beginning, you know that this was like my very first tank that I got for the channel. And actually this is my very first big tank that was bigger than the 55 gallon. And this tank I had for like four years. So making the decision wasn't really easy for me in terms of like letting it go. I, I really want to keep it, but on top of the pulling out the substrate, because I'm going to have to pull out the substrate for this and put in new substrate. Um, this tank is pretty old. When I got it, I bought it used. So the seals on the tank are actually starting to kind of like bubble or starting to kind of degrade over time. This tank was built, I think, in 2010. So it's been like close to like like six, seven years now. Um, it was used, so somebody else had it and I took it over for four years and it needs to be resealed. So if I do tear out, you know, this tank, pull out the substrate, I have to reseal the tank. The seal has been the seal, you know, for forever. I, I guess like I haven't had any issues for the last four years, but you know, you never know, right? So with that said, um, downgrade on the tank. So it's, uh, it's sad to see this tank go. But because of that, I'm going to have to probably sell a lot of these plants here because I can't transfer all of them into uh, the smaller tank. Um, so there's a lot of carpeted plants here that's available. If you guys are interested, PM me, message me, or check my website. You can definitely buy those. Um, they're at a discounted price right now if you buy them in bulk. Um, also, a bunch of these Vietnams, Erio Vietnams, uh, they're at a discounted price as well um, just to kind of cut back in the plants. So yeah, the last four months has been just kind of like a stable, like just baseline of just keeping, you know, the plants where it's at in terms of like it hasn't moved past that line there. Um, feeding the fish, enjoying the actual neon tetras and the cardinals kind of swimming around and just eating. Uh, the plecos are starting to come out a lot more since the tank is kind of just their own, right? They kind of have their own territory now, so it's pretty cool to kind of see them run around. Um, I'm going to do a quick um, underwater video for you guys of seeing the plecos and maybe a couple of these uh, little fish up close. But um, yeah, this is probably the last video of this tank. The next time you'll see an update, maybe um, you'll see the uh, the new tank. Uh, hopefully it's, you know, established or not established. But you'll, you'll probably see more videos down the road when I do like either like a, a hard cape or something with the tank. All right, guys. Enjoy the video. And until next time, guys. Peace. Take a moment right here Feeling like it's out gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun